Hey, did you uh, mean to turn the lights on? Because I think you forgot. Um, hey, excuse me. I can't see. A little help, please. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Lucy. Oh, thank you. I could hardly see my notes of how light travels through transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. But now that I can see them, let's review some things we know about light. Light is energy, and we know that it travels in waves and in a straight path. It's also measured on an electromagnetic spectrum, and most light is invisible to us because on that spectrum would include all sorts of light, like gamma rays, x-rays, UV rays, just a small part of that spectrum is visible to us. In this video, we're gonna talk about how light relates to sight. The objects we see either give off their own light or they reflect it or absorb it from some other light source. We see objects because light waves bounce off of those objects and go to our eyes, allowing us to see them. When almost all the light passes through an object and very little of it is reflected off of the object, it's called transparent. Things that are transparent appear almost see-through, like these glasses, this aquarium, these science beakers, or this glass of water. They're all transparent. The light passes right through them and you can see right through them too. Whew, hold on, it's getting a little hot in here. Let me go open that window. Hey, I just thought of something. A window, it's transparent, right? The sun goes right through it. And the light goes right through it. The window's transparent. Hmm. Well, unless it's a little grimy or frosted or stained, then it's probably translucent. When only some light passes through an object, the object is translucent, like these. You can kind of see through them, but what you see is maybe a little fuzzy, a little distorted. The colors are a little different. These jellyfish are translucent because you can see the light coming through them and you can sort of see through them but you can't exactly see through them. They are very relaxing to watch though. Okay, back to work. When almost no light passes through an object or the light is totally blocked, the object is opaque. This plastic cup is transparent, but the star on it is opaque. The light will go right through the cup, but it's blocked by the opaque star. That star would probably even make a shadow on the wall if we could see the wall on the other side of the room. And just as a side note, since we're on the subject of light, light energy can also become heat energy. And usually, light colors will reflect more light than dark colors, which means they tend to be cooler. Dark colors absorb more, and when they absorb more light, that light can get turned into heat dark colors are hotter. That's why dark clothes or dark pavement on a road or a parking lot can get so hot in the sunlight. But we'll talk more about that later. Right now, bum, bum, bum. see if you can guess whether these objects are transparent, translucent, or opaque. What do you think? Transparent, translucent, or opaque? Well, it looks like there's a lot of light that can get through them and you can kind of see through them, but not great. That's why they're translucent. Next, we have this one. What do you think? Transparent, translucent, or opaque? Yup, translucent. I can kind of see through. I mean, that looks like that's a leaf there, but I can't really tell. Next, we have this one. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think any light's getting through that one. It's gonna be totally blocked. It's opaque. And one more. How about this one? Do you think the water is transparent, translucent, or opaque? Yep, 
Yep, it's transparent. The light's going right through that clear, cool, refreshing water. Oh, speaking of which, gotta go. See you later. Hey, can somebody get those letters out of the water? It's not nice to pollute, you know, even if it is the alphabet. <laughs>